This year, Kings Island has received some new improvements, including a whole new themed area called Adventure Port. This area features new rides, updated theming for the loved roller coaster Adventure Express, and many new restaurants and other additions. However, is this addition really all that it's cracked up to be? Today, we're going to take a look at four different categories of things that this new themed area offers, rate each category out of 10, and then finish with a final score for the area out of 10. Let's get right into the review. First, we'll be taking a look at how the themed area is laid out. It's a quite small area with not much room, although it does make use of the room it has pretty well. When entering from Action Zone, the half of the area on your left is mostly made up of the three rides that are part of Adventure Port. The right half is full of the two different food offerings that are in the area. This makes an easy to navigate layout to find what you're looking for in the area. However, some of the ride entrances and exits are confusing to find, especially Soul Spin. The exit path for Soul Spin is right next to the entrance for Cargo Loco, so a lot of people think that's the entrance when it's really the exit, and the entrance is behind Soul Spin over by Adventure Express, which is a little bit of a ways from the presence of the ride, which can make it quite confusing to find if you're just trying to get on Soul Spin. The entrance for Adventure Express is sort of hidden and back behind Soul Spin, which isn't too hard to find if you follow the signs, and it's less confusing than the entrance for Soul Spin, but it isn't very visible from the main paths. However, I still like the layout for its ease of access and clear presence of rides, so I gave this area a 7 out of 10 for the layout. The second category that we're going to talk about for this area is the theming. Now, when people typically think of theming in a typical Cedar Fair or Six Flags amusement parks, it's not very good. Typically, some parts of Cedar Fair Parks aren't even themed at all, like most parts of Cedar Point. However, this area is very well themed. It's themed to a sort of port where cargo is unloaded and tours are taken throughout the surrounding countryside, which features many cool artifacts and monuments. What I just described were the Cargo Loco and Adventure Express rides, which play very well into the theme and story of the area. Because this area has one overarching theme, and every ride and attraction in the area plays well into it, this means that the area has a very well-made central storyline that's very interesting to follow along with. Because of this central storyline and the very good theming around all the attractions, especially Adventure Express, which is new updated theming that's amazing, I gave this area a 9 out of 10 for theming. The third category that I'm going to be looking at is the food. Because this is such a small area, it only really has one food location, which is a large building which half of it is taken up by Enrique's, a quick service restaurant that specializes in tacos and rice bowls, and on the other side of the building is the Mercado, a full service bar. Because I don't drink, I'll only be reviewing Enrique's. Enrique's is a quick service restaurant that specializes in burritos, tacos, and burrito bowls, all of which are very good. It's some of the best Mexican food I've ever had at a theme park. The amount of food that you get is plenty, and it's a great option for dining. It's especially good if you have the meal plan, as it's one of the best meals that is available on the meal plan. My personal favorite thing to get here is the tacos. It's very similar to a Chipotle in the way you are served, so you can customize your food however you want. It's a very good option to eat, 
and even though this area only has one food option, it feels like enough because it's quite a small area. So I decided to give this area a 9 out of 10 for food. And the fourth and final category that we'll be going over is, of course, the rides. There are three rides in this area. Cargo Loco is a family spinning teacup ride. It's not very thrilling, but it is fun if you and some of your friends all get in the same cargo barrel and try to spin it as fast as you can. It can be nauseating and it's the only ride at Kings Island that actually has given me motion sickness. It's a very fun experience, especially for families. Soul Spin is a Zamperla Endeavor ride that starts by spinning you on the ground and then lifts up almost vertical so it's like you're just going in loop-de-loops over and over. It's a very interesting ride, especially with the open air carriages and the only thing holding you in being a uh, over the shoulder restraint. It's fun to just be able to spread your arms out as if you are flying and it's a great ride experience, although it could be more extensively themed. The third ride is the only roller coaster in this area and that is Adventure Express. Adventure Express is a very old coaster, being an aero mine train that's been with the park for a long time. However, just this year it received new theming elements that make it an even better ride experience. It's a great ride, especially with the new theming, and I won't spoil it, but it's incredible. All the ride experiences are great. However, Soul Spin always has a long line because of its poor capacity, with Kings Island deciding to go for a 24 passenger version instead of the 48 passenger version that they could have gotten. Because of this low capacity, it's not really possible to ride Soul Spin without waiting in a long line. However, all the ride experience are, are still great, and because of that, it earns an 8 out of 10 on rides. So, let's take a look at the scores again. With 7 out of 10 for the layout, 9 out of 10 for the theming, 9 out of 10 for the food, and 8 out of 10 for the rides, this earns the area a final score of 8.25 out of 10, which I think accurately represents how I feel about this new area. Overall, it's a very good area and you can't miss it when you go to Kings Island. Thanks guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like as that helps me out quite a bit with the YouTube algorithm. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe for more great coaster content just like this, and leave a comment about what you think about this new area at Kings Island. As always, thanks for watching, ZZ Coasters, signing off.